Welcome to your energy practice. This is Cultivate Space with Qigong. Running water does not get stagnant. Suggest that when the body is tight and restricted, there is no space for energy to move or flow. We'll start with body tapping with this magic tool called the whisk. You can grab it from your kitchen if you like to. I've um, discovered that this whisk actually works really well to lift the chi especially the stagnant chi out of the body. Traditionally, you use bamboo stick or you can use metal steel stick to invigorate into the bones as well. So it also acts as an extension of your arms. So if you don't have any tool, you can just use your hands and just get to areas that you can get to and don't worry about forcing yourself to go um, to a place that it, the hands cannot reach. So this is a magic tool. So grab your whisk and let's start with your feet about shoulder width distance apart. So we'll be tapping along the meridians of the body. So let's start with the crown of the head. So just waking up the brain there, take a few deep breaths, opening up the brain, the mind, connecting with your higher source, and then start to tap down the back of the head, down the base of the skull. And let's move over to one side on the base of the skull. There is an important acupressure point there. And then over to the other side as well. So releasing any headache. And let's move down the side of the neck there. So you can go up and down a few times. Applying pressure that doesn't feel too much, too hard. Just enough that feels good. And then over to the other side as well. Just up and down. And let's come over to one side of the chest. So the lung meridian, take a deep breath there. And let's start to tap down the ends of the arm. The three yin meridians, all the way to the hand. And let's flip around and go up the back of the arm all the way to the shoulder and let's do it three times so moving down the inside clearing stagnations try to relax your wrists as you tap the more relaxed the more the chi can flow and let's come around to the other side And let's come down underneath the armpit, the prosec point. So there's a lot of lymph nodes there. Let's slap down the side of the ribs all the way to the hip. And three times from top to bottom. And relax, notice how you feel on one side and we'll go over to the other side. So starting with the chest. So whichever hand that you want to use that feels more comfortable for you and it takes a bit of practice if you're using the opposite arm, your unusual arm. So start to tap down the ends of the arm, invigorating any stagnations and up the back of the arm, around the shoulder and come down. So three times on each side. You can take some purging breath in through your nose and out the mouth. It feels really good to clear out anything that you are holding. And again, let's come down the armpit, slap down the side of the ribs and to the hip three times, moving from top to bottom. and relax and notice how you feel. Let's tap over the back of the shoulder on one side into the shoulder blade, clearing tension in your upper back, in the shoulder as well. And then let's take your arm under as you continue to slap down one side of the spine, all the way to the hip and all the way back up again. 
so a few times. So it's amazing practice to clear out tension in your spine. Especially first thing in the morning, it can get a little sticky. And switch side. So over from the top, up the shoulder, shoulder blade, upper back. And let's take your arm under and you can slightly lean forward to help yourself get into the right position. All the way to the hip. <laughs> My left arm is a little slow. So it's a bit of training to do on one side. Good, and then now let's start to tap to the buttock on one side. So getting into the bladder channel, down the back of the leg, back of the knee, calf, and let's come around the inside. So the bladder connects with the kidney, closer towards the back of the leg, around the front of the hip, and again, down the back line, back of the knee, important acupressure point, center of the calf, and then up the inside of the leg towards the back of the leg, the kidney. And let's come around the side, the gallbladder line, side of the knee, the lower leg, and let's come around the inside, gallbladder and liver connect. So right in the seam line. So about three times, waking up stagnations. And you're gonna go down the front of the thigh, the stomach line. Go outside the knee, outside the shin, all the way down to the top of the foot. And come around the inside, stomach and spleen. They connect and work together. So towards the front end of the leg, but inside. So two more times, slap down, front of the thigh, towards the outside to the foot and come up the inside. Good, and take a moment to notice how you feel on that side of the leg. And let's come around to the other side. So starting with the buttock. So this is the bladder. Take some purging breath there in through your nose and out the mouth. And then come around the inside, the kidney, closer towards the back to the hip and two more times. Down the back of the leg, back of the knee, calf and come around the inside. <clears throat> and last round, keep breathing through it. So good for invigorating chi, circulation of blood any toxicity, release it out and come down the outside, the gallbladder. Purging breath. And up the inside. So the inseam of the pants. So two more times. The inside of the leg. Use your breath to clear toxins, stagnations. And let's come down the front of the thigh, the stomach line, outside the knee, out of shin, to the top of the foot, come down the inside, closer to the front of the leg, all the way to the front of the hip. The quad is so important, our leg gait, a lot of lymph nodes there as well. Last round. Good. Notice how you feel 